There are several types of overload devices which can be placed in line with a motor winding to prevent damage from overheating. Two types of devices rely on a thermal element for protection. The first uses a bimetallic strip. A bimetallic strip consists of two strips of metal bonded together. As the temperature of the strip increases, the metals expand at different rates, causing the strip to bend. This bending upon heating can be used to make or break contacts in an overload device. In the diagram shown, an electric heater in series with the winding of a motor generates heat in proportion to the current flowing through the motor. If the current increases, the heater generates more heat, the bimetallic strip bends and opens the contacts, which trips out, or stops, the motor. The most common type of overload relay uses a melting eutectic alloy. A eutectic alloy is a specific type of metal that changes directly from a solid to a liquid at a fixed temperature. In a melting alloy overload relay, the eutectic alloy is housed in a tube along with an inner shaft cemented in place. This tube is connected to a ratchet wheel. The temperature of the alloy is controlled by a heater coil wrapped around the outside of the tube. The heater coil is directly connected to the circuitry of the motor, so when dangerous amounts of current run through the motor, the wire coil will also heat up. When the heater coil gets hot enough to melt the inner eutectic alloy, it indicates that the motor has reached a dangerous overload threshold. At the elevated temperature, the alloy will instantly turn from a solid to a liquid, allowing the inner ratchet shaft to turn freely. When the wheel turns, it releases a pawl previously engaged in one of the cogs of the ratchet wheel. This pawl is connected to a spring-loaded contact fixture, such that when the pawl trips, the contacts automatically open and stops the current flowing to the motor starter. The spring-loaded contact fixture also includes a reset button so that when the eutectic alloy cools and cements the ratchet in place, the contacts can be closed by re-engaging the pawl in a cog and compressing the spring. Another important part of motor electronics is forward and reverse circuitry. Here is an example of the circuitry for a forward and reverse three-phase motor.